don't let the other guys know this, but I begged to come here to Fork Union. He was in our public school system all through up until the end of middle school. And um, I hate to say it, but our public school system where I live is criminally bad. It is horrific. And I insisted uh, that he go from the public school and go directly to a private school for high school. Because uh, I, I finally put my foot down with my husband and said he's not going to a public school, not going to our public high school. So we went to a, um, a Catholic school, which was literally an hour away in each direction. Um, but I didn't care. I just wanted him to have a decent education. And uh, as soon as he started at the, the private school, he was three years behind in everything. And it was just, you know, really obvious to me that, that he needed some help and he needed, uh, you know, a change. Um, and that was the year uh, that my husband, Don, my Dante's dad, uh, was extremely ill. He had been fighting lymphoma for four years. So I was literally at the hospital every single day with my husband, sometimes till eight at night, and there was no way I could help Dante catch up, keep up, or, or do anything at school. So by the end of that school year, his dad had passed away, and Dante said, look, I'm never going to get anywhere I want to go if I don't make a huge change. And he said, I want to go to Fork Union. Honestly... I didn't see that they cared enough. Kids were just going through the motions. They did not want to be there. The teachers did not want to be there. They didn't care whether we passed or failed. And I just didn't want to graduate in that environment. I mean, the school had a great reputation, but just you can feel the negativity in the air. Like, it, it was dense. So, but coming here, the faculty is amazing. The teachers are amazing. They help you. They talk to you. They're here for you. They're not there for their pay. I didn't understand exactly why, because it's strict and there's discipline and it's, you know, we're, we're not a military family. You know, I don't know where he got this idea, but he just fell in love with it. And he said he knew, you know, the only way he was going to make his dreams come true was to, was to come to Fork Union. And we did. It was the best decision we ever made for him. A friend of mine came to Fork Union while I must have been in maybe fifth or sixth grade. And I remember before he went to Fork Union, he was a little bit of a wild child. He didn't hurt anybody, do anything too stupid, but he definitely was starting to get out of control. He came to Fork Union for two years, his uh, junior and senior year. And by the end of his senior year, he was XO of Echo Company. This is when they had all the companies mixed. So, I saw him graduate and he was a completely different person. Like, all the adults respected him, everybody looked up to Andy. You know, Andy only spent two years here. And one of the comments that, that Andy and his parents always made was, the only thing they would have done differently was to have started him here years before. And they really wish they had. I wasn't too bad before I came in here. I mean, I was a teenage kid, what were you gonna expect? But I came in here and Everybody I talk to says they see a definite change for the better. They see that I've matured a lot more, that I'm, I set myself up for a good future once I'm out of here. Well, he was always a very um, mannerly kid in middle school. It was always yes sir, no sir, and things like that, for which he got teased relentlessly in middle school. And I, I didn't understand that, but you know, he, that just was the kind of a kid he was. He was always polite and mannerly to open doors for people and things like that. Um, and here, it's not just expected, but it's appreciated and, you know, it just becomes part of their, their nature. Uh, but since he started going here, he's been, um, he's, he's gone from kind of like a lost little kid to a very responsible, disciplined man. And everybody can see it. I mean, just strangers on the street. You know, people at the gas station. This is the saber awarded to the company commander who wins company competition. Um, I'm not sure how long they've been doing the tradition, but every year that I've been here, they've been giving them out. I didn't, ah, it's hard to explain. Like, I don't take credit for it myself. I have platoon sergeants, I have platoon leaders, I have squad leaders. Everybody plays a small part. I. Even me, I play a very tiny part. All I do is I yell out. That's, that's my job. I call cadence and I make sure they get from point A to point B. All these other guys, they make sure they're in the right uniform. They make sure that they're at checkoff on time. They make sure they're quiet. They make sure they're uh, marching correctly. That they're the guys who run this place, not me. 
This is the President's Award. Um, Rear Admiral Burho chooses a upcoming junior from every year who he says betters the Corps in every way, who's probably going to be one of the head leaders for next year. Wasn't expecting that at all whatsoever. I walked in there, I, I was not, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty confident I was going to win company competition and drill competition, but President, President's Award, I had no idea. Felt really, really good. <laughs> Goes to show that I did something with my life here. Especially having come from, you know, the the craziness of his dad being so ill for so long, and Dante feeling really isolated and it kind of not really left on his own, but just sort of lost. Um, his I guess his mission now is to make sure that his dad would be proud of him. I just want to tell her that. Like, I love her to death. She is the reason that I'm here, and I couldn't, I can't put into words how much I appreciate the opportunity that she let me attend Fork Union. I honestly can't express it enough. Every kid has a potential. Every single kid out there has got the potential to be a great leader, um, have focus, have drive, achieve dreams that they, they have. Um, but they're usually in an environment where that's impossible, you know, and Fork Union gives kids the environment, the security, the stability, the discipline, um, the example set by faculty, by other cadets who've moved up in the ranks. It's like it is possible to, to have a goal and reach it and achieve it. Just have the discipline and the drive, you know, just commit to something. and out there, like in the public school sector or whatever, um, there's so much distraction and there's so much focus on things that really don't matter a lot. I don't care how many friends you've got on Facebook, you know? Uh, do you have leadership capability? Are you gonna be okay on your own moving forward? You know, this school isn't just a college prep school or a high school, it's a life prep school. It's, uh, they, they develop leaders. They develop young men who can make it on their own, who can uh, provide for their community, their family. It, it's, just, it's just an incredible bridge to adulthood. If I can say to my mom um, how much I actually appreciate being at Fork Union, I don't even think I could put it into the right words. I mean, this, this entire, facility just completely and totally turned my life around for the better. And I just can't thank her enough.